port of Busan is one of the busiest in the world, handling the equivalent of more than 22 million containers a year. It's Korea's gateway to the world and a key stop on the maritime Silk Road that connects Asia to Europe. And it's being revolutionized by technology. Busan Container Terminal is the first in the country to have completely cabinless, remote-operated key cranes which move cargo on and off the ships. That's a job that used to require men climbing up on top of the cranes and controlling them directly. Their lives have been completely transformed. You know, it was a very macho area with all those, you know, uh, big guys uh, uh, driving all those big K cranes, yacht cranes. But even though they looked really macho and strong, they always had these, you know, neck pains and back pains. You know, uh, uh, it was a hard job, you know, uh, for them. However, you know, uh, our uh, QC remote controllers and uh, yacht, you know, remote controllers, they have a way better, you know, uh, working environment. They don't have to uh, take the elevator to go to uh, 43 meters, you know, very high uh, cranes, or you know, uh, climb up to the you know yard cranes without any safety guard. They don't have to do that. They just come to office, like you know, office workers like myself. You know, uh, they sit on the desk if they want. They can also stand, you know, uh, doing the remote control of those you know uh, heavy 53 meters of the K cranes. They can also talk to their colleagues. You know, they chat. You know, they share coffee, and in case they have any trouble, they can discuss. So their working environment, thus their life, you know, uh, has been better. And it's not just an improvement in safety and quality of life. Busan Container Terminal is seeing significant improvements to efficiency too. And when the cranes are fully operational, the remote control and automation will provide consistency and reliability that allows cargo handlers and shipping operators to do their job better than ever, keeping goods moving in and out of Korea and around the world. Yeah.